What is going on, everybody? And welcome back. As we prepare to make our 11th start, we're scheduled to face the Milwaukee Brewers in the second game of a four-game set. But just completed our 10th start. So I wanted to go and look at the stats and see how well we're actually faring. And maybe compare them to AAA, which really probably isn't smart, but... We'd made 14 starts down there before we got called up. We have more wins. Our ERA is lower. We have as many quality starts and less starts. That's that's an important stat for me. I know a lot of people don't like it, but that means I'm just in the game. At least to me it does. Still looking for that elusive complete game shutout or and a shutout. Must have had it last game, but that darn, darn home run. Chased us out after eight and a thirds. Ah, 63 and a thirds innings pitch so far, plus 75. What is that? It's like 138 and a third innings so far this year we've pitched. Uh, giving up less hits, runs. Big amount of home runs. That, that home run ball is kind of killing it for us. Uh, the walks are less, strikeouts are probably about where they're, they're probably going to be. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of where the stats are at. That's where they're lining up. Um, for player comparison. They have us as uh, our, their perceptions are rising star for us, playing above expectations. To be honest, I mean... It's always hard to compare what you're doing with everybody else when you haven't done, like, really, we've probably done about a third of what these guys have done. The majors, so you really can't compare. But, you know, this is, this is where it's at. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll bring you back when the game's all loaded up. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Here we go, we're in Milwaukee. The second of four to begin the week. Second of four. We are 54 and 70, 22 games back from first place. Milwaukee's 56 and 69. I have no where, no idea where they're standing in their standings. Definitely not through Tober. No, we got a chance here. This guy has a pretty high ERA. He's got a 4-8. Record a 4-2-3 ERA. He's thrown 125 and two-thirds innings. That's went away before I could even look at the rest of them. So Scooter Jeanette's going to start it out for the Brewers in the bottom of the first. No runs were given. Start him out with a changeup. A little, little something different. As we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Madison, yeah twice in the last eight tries, and we have one of those wins. But you try to pick up as many wins as you possibly can. That's why you're just going to foul that one off. Let's bring this inside and low. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Ooh, he put a good swing on that one. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. And Scooter's making me throw a lot of pitches here already. Got him. Go sit down. He ran the fastball right by him for the first out. And with that, time to take a glance at the starting nine for these Brewers. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, Matt, you know they're getting a oh. lot of production. Oh, Ryan Braun here. Right now. He's been a catalyst for this really in the last 10 games and in so many big games big away, names looking at the one number I'm looking at a 450 on Yon Broxton at 271 on the air abilities that he has you're awfully dangerous first delivery to him on the way Keon Broxton comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one called strike one, one on that one my eye on with this young starter on the mound is how he's able to stay ahead of hitters it makes pitching at this level a lot easier and when you're trying to establish this change up got him swigging you can go sit down too doing that, it's 
energy attack hitters from the get-go. See, so I want to strike out more than I did last time, so number to beat is seven. Out of the bottom of the first. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. The fastball, so we'll come back with the changeup. Ooh, man, that one. I don't know what I was doing there. Two out, nobody on. There we go. Got the call on that one. Back with the fastball on two and one. Man, this is the zone again. There we go. Line drive, but... Easy enough to grab. Still We're out of the four. inning. Three up, three down. Domingo Santana. Domingo Santana. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. 245 on the year. Oh, is this going to be one of those games? I just don't have it. Yikes, that one. That one's gone. I knew I hung that change up. And the home run bug bites us again. A solo shot here to straight away right field. Twelve home runs for him now thus far. As the Brewers get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Well, they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason. So we played that change up right down the middle of the plate. Exploded through the zone on that one. Stepping in now. Jesus Aguilar. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Yeah, that cutter got ripped right back up the middle. He's been on some kind of cold streak. You weren't even expecting him to get a hit right there. There had been a lot of talk about maybe. All right. Maybe that, that wasn't that bad of a pitch. If we can get a double play here. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night. Okay, well, game. where'd that one miss? And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, you have to have a lot of confidence in Composer to pitch effectively, and right now, I'm just not seeing it. He looks kind of rattled out there to me. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Oh, yeah, a little rattled. Down You're not getting... One. Now he's falling behind 3-1, and all the pitchers have been down. He's trying to get that double play ball. You can't get a called strike. Oh, wow, thankfully he chased that one. A runner at first with no outs here. And another foul ball. I had much luck in the location of that change. Yep, there we go. There's the double play. Barely get him at first, but we got him. Andrews hit 257. Stepping up now, Andrew Susak. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. Oh, they think they may have gotten him again. This one's really? deep to left field. And for the second time in the inning, the gopher ball was oh, the I really it's a home run. Wow. A solo shot here to so the first left. inning was good. The second the inning. And the Brewers move out in front now, two to nothing. Well, that, that even, like well, that was higher than it should have been. That pitch. Up next will be Michael Reed. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He did not play yeah. last night, but clearly back in the That one match. comes up a lot higher than I wanted it to. It. It just a foul. Into the wind up, here comes the so we just, pitch. I don't want to say we don't have it, but right this inning's kind of... Kind of gotten away from us. That curveball was hung right in the middle, but he didn't get enough of it. Okay, so two nothing. About that two solo shots. If maybe we can't get something back with our 071 batting average. Oh, we'd run around first with nobody out, so. Is our uh, back punt situation? 
Oh, we hit that one too hard right at the third baseman. When it rains, it pours. into scoring position. He got it down, but you have to deaden the ball too. Otherwise these Oh come on. This is the pitcher here. Into a double play. Junior Guerra is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. One and oh. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And he there gets we go. a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but All right. in the dirt. Got to stop playing around here. Well, these are Come just on. pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. And a fastball is swung on and hit the second. What we have done is lost the strike zone. The first in time for the out. They're Milwaukee's 19 and a half back, so they're not as bad off as we are. Pretty much start to think about next year because they are well back in the division race. Scooter Jeanette will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. Pitches are going a little higher than I want them to. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0 and 2. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here. They one, one two, two. bring this fastball up here. Front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early. Chase. How'd you get to miss inside? Out of the outside, really went outside. I've just, I can't aim today. That wide for ball three. That's, wow, that's what's going on. And that last pitch on two and we're going to walk him. Wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Digging in to try it again. Keon Broxton. You know, this is, is kind of what's sad is, you know, we, we show flashes of brilliance. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now. Nothing in two. And we have. Or he can go sit down. But, yeah, then we have games like this where it's, you know, just a struggle. In the zone is a must. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Keon Broxton becomes out number two. You know, at least I don't game. even think we threw a lot of, you know, I don't think those pitches got in the strike zone. And that brings up the and left that really hitting Travis Shaw. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Not getting, getting the second. ball. And that's in there, base hit. In there. On those. Jeanette. Yep, he's going to score. For the plate. And he is Barely gets in there, but he's in there. Is now three to nothing. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position, and he does it again here with a double. Tack on another RBI to his season. Now that one's in the dirt. In the dirt here. Throw goes over to third, and he's going to make it up to third here. As he Time is mean, just off. I mean, that's all there is. That's all there is to it. And when we do kind of hit our spot, this guy's feeling good about his game. He's already we'll get the call. And now he's sitting there in a 2 0 count. There it is. That's his second homer of the day. Set that cutter right. Get up, get up, get out of here. Yeah, that is like set it right up on a tee for him. Wow. Nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's okay. owning him. This could be the latter. Into the box, Jesus Aguilar. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No ball. I can't believe after that first inning. In his first trip. And this he have the just. Corner, so it's knotted up at one I don't want to say we fell apart, but. From the windup, the one-one pitch. Swing and a line drive, but foul. Pitching Three gods have not been kind to us today. There we go. Him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Need my uh, Three runs my offense to start doing something here. The big home run. Ready for another chance, Orlando Garcia. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. First pitch, Hacken here, and that's the. It was he early on that one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. He's going to be on there. 
on the barehanded attempt gets by him here, and that ought to go as a bunt. All right, no one. Oh, he dropped that bunt in what I call the Bermuda Triangle. In this is kind of the the pitcher and the kind of been the day. Five feet down the line, and nobody's gonna have a play. Great execution. Andrew Susak. You know, what in what can't go wrong here. will go wrong. He looks at a ball. It's one and zero. Oh. Action now in that Colorado pen as a southpaw has stood up to throw out there. Well, they got him in the rocking chair right now. A little change up, followed up with the fastball. He's Just with that cutter, they got people up in the bullpen already. And he misses two and one. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. <laughs> Takes a knee high fastball. Here's the pitch on two and two. Yeah, we set that one up a little high. Just a little late. Here's another two two. Fastball that just missed hey, the side. Three two count with a guy on first base that can run like he can. I think they got to send him right here. I think he's off. And, and they shoot it through the hole there, so we're gonna have runners on first and second. Man. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard. It's just it's the day with kind of day we're having. I mean that's that's all there is to it. That's gonna be it. We're definitely gonna end up eating a loss on this one. Where the offense is playing. Oh man. Manager Bud Black out of the dugout heading for the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change is that's going to do Such a poor at bat. Here tonight. Not at bat. Out in less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much more oh. than anticipated. Chris Russon. Leaved in the 4th. I don't even think we got him out there. I think we went 3 innings. Not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball. But a complete game shutout. Yeah, they got shut out, so we took the loss. From the first inning to drop our record to four and five. In this one. Okay, we'll bring you back. Total in this one, the Milwaukee Brewers. So, final line score on that one. Three innings, gave up seven hits, seven runs all earned, one walk, four strikeouts, and took the loss. You have 86 available points, and to be honest, I think I'm just going to let those ride to the next one. I don't I don't think we could put it on anything we wanted to except this. Nope, can't even put it on that. We're just going to let it ride. So, let's uh, not awards. Let's go to league leaders and just kind of see if we are anywhere in these wins for no, we only have four wins. Losses, I don't even know if they're gonna last be in the losses. I think we've pitched enough to be honest. You can see a couple guys have only lost three games. We've got one sixteen game winner, but he's on the DL, old Max Scherzer. Saves. I don't even know where our guy's probably low on the list here. Three different ones with one. The one with two. Nick McGee has nine. I mean, we just, there's not a lot of opportunities. RA, we wouldn't even be we'd be right in here. We haven't pitched enough. Throw enough innings. Be in that. Yeah, so we're just because the Clayton Kershaw already has two hundred and twelve strikeouts. Holy hell. Hundred and eighty one innings pitched though, so that's that's about on par for him. Yeah, so not really gonna see anything here for us. It's just we haven't we haven't pitched enough. All right, well that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for coming, hanging out. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for a start of day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Noodles.